Hello, I'm Oliver Picard. Welcome to beautiful Le Maison, France. Now, I've just come down off the roof into the garage because it started to rain, and I thought I'd make a quick video, tell you what I'm up to. The reason I'm up there is I'm fitting 60 odd of these extruded aluminium brackets. And that's because I'm finally at a point in my house build that I've been waiting for for over a year. And that is the fitting of these. This is a 250 watt solar panel, and I have 21 of them, um, which I'm incredibly, incredibly giddily happy about, because up until this point, my YouTube channel and my life has been powered by a tiny little generator that gets run when we're doing, um, when we're using big machinery like you know grinders and and big drills and that kind of thing, and. A little tiny solar panel made for camping and all of my videos and charging up of this camera and my phone and the laptop and all of that has all been powered by those two little things and I want to get rid of that generator forever the idea of all of this channel and this life and everything that I'm living is all to be off-grid and as eco-friendly as possible the key to that is these solar panels now why do I need 21 of them well I've clubbed together with my parents who are my next door but one neighbours. And the idea is that rather than having a little weedy system like you see many people on the internet have, they have a system that can barely cope with what they're doing. Um, that's not good enough for me because I want to be able to use um, big machinery in, in, the, uh, in the workshop while I boil the kettle in the house. So, in order to do that, we need 21 solar panels. We also need all of this loveliness. Now, the 21 solar panels are in series of seven. They're like, if you will, they're wired up together in a, in a, in a, a chain of seven solar panels. And then that's why there's 21. And then that, those chains of solar panels are wired down to here. This is the charge controller. What this does is there are days when, especially here in Limousin, France in midsummer, we have gorgeously hot, bright sunshine. And my solar panels are actually going to be producing too much power, far more than I can use. Because the problem with solar power is that it makes the most amount of electricity when you're not actually using it. Um, so for example, on a hot sunny day, the chances are that you're going to be outside, you're not going to be inside at all, and you're not going to use that electricity really until the night time. And in winter, it's bad weather, you're producing less power because there's less sun, the days are shorter, all of that jazz, and you want to be in, you want to be, you know, watching a film, you want to put your feet up, you're going to be cooking, you're going to have your lights on, all that sort of thing. So you're actually, with solar power, it's slightly awkward because you're producing your, your biggest amount of power when you're least using it. Fortunately, we have enough power here that even on the worst day, we're producing enough power. But this uh, charge controller here deals with when we're producing far too much power for our own consumption. Now, with the setup we have, we could actually feed the grid, but we have no connection to the grid here. We are off it completely. We are off and away. And so it would cost a lot of money to connect us to the grid. We don't want bills, we don't want contracts, we don't want any of that. We want to be completely separate from it. That's the whole idea of doing what we're doing. Now, from the charge control, we go to the colour control unit. The colour control unit, basically, um, it's the brains of the home. It's the brains. So last week I talked about my auger and the fact that my auger is a very old-fashioned uh, bit of technology. It's, it's got no moving parts hardly and it produces my hot water, it heats my home, it runs my central heating. 
Um, and it does it in a very old fashioned way that's incredibly reliable and incredibly efficient and, e and ecological. This is the brains of my home. If my auger is my heart, this is definitely the brains. And what this does, it runs the entire system. It makes sure that we have enough power coming in. It makes sure we don't have too much power coming in. It looks at the state of the batteries. It looks at what we need. Um, and it basically, and what we're using in each part of the building. And it basically keeps everything level and makes sure everything's safe. Going from that, we have the um, oh, the charger inverter. Now, there's a lot to remember. Now, the charger inverter is plugged into these lovely things. These are my batteries. And they are 12 volt batteries. And they are all wired together to produce a consistent and reliable 48 volts. The reason why it's 48 is because 48 and 240, which is what you, or 230, which is what you get out of a plug socket at home from a power station, is much closer to 48 than it is to 12 volts. So it, it's, it's less of a bump up. It takes less energy to make more energy. So it, for instance, if it was 12 volt, because 12 volt is a long way from 230, it would take a, a lot of 12 to make a little bit of 230. But because we've got 48 volts, it takes less 48 to make more 240. Because they're closer together, basically. Um, it's not as big a jump. And this charger inverter is basically a smart charger. It's what, a, like, a lot of people have baby smart chargers at home for looking after their batteries for their cars, for example. It's like a, um, what do you call them, like a, a battery tender, that kind of thing. It's like that, but on steroids, and it's for the big chain of lovely deep cycle batteries. Now, this thing is a absolute work of art because it makes sure that the batteries don't wear too quickly. Um, it looks after the health of the batteries and makes sure they have the longest life possible. This set of batteries has a 15 year guarantee set of service life. So it will last at least a minimum of 15 years. Uh, that's kind of the downside of batteries and of you know electric anything, is that anything with batteries does have a service life eventually. These these will be defunct, but it will be hopefully 20 odd years from now. Um, I've heard from people who use these systems who've had them like well over 20 years. So at least at least they have a very long service life. And in 20 odd years time we'll have very different technology and this system is designed to be completely updatable but it's it's the very best that I can get that isn't um, so futuristic that it's scary and, and and you don't know the reliability of it this is a proven system and it actually has an internet connection so that the company that designed this system can actually check up on how it's doing check up on um, its efficiency and make sure everything's working as it's supposed to. And if we have a problem here in Limbs and France, here in the middle of nowhere, um, rather than having to, this system was made in Germany, although it's a Dutch company, um, the, the technicians can actually just log in with their laptop if it's in the middle of the night and we have an issue. And they can have a look at our system and actually find out what's wrong from, you know, at 2,000 kilometers away, which is very, very handy. Now, from this inverter, basically produces the exact same sort of power you get from a plug socket at home, the exact same sort of power you get from a, a power station. And that all feeds into this junction box. This one is for the workshop, and this one is for the, uh, the house. And basically, it just makes sure that um, each set of plug sockets, or each ring of each ring of plug plug sockets, like these ones here, because this is a workshop, we need lots and lots and lots of power. You're not going to use every single plug socket at once, but you do. You know, if you if you're doing body work on a car, you're going to have several sanders going, you get, not all at once, but you don't want to have to unplug one to plug another one in. Um, and so we have enough to to do everything, you know, run a compressor, to do um, to run sanders, to do all that, and that's just down here. 
We also have a load upstairs, which I'll show you in just a second. But that basically makes sure that our consumption of any one, if we should have a problem with a tool or anything like that, doesn't trip the whole system out. Exactly the same as you have in your house, just a bit more beefy. As you saw a little bit in last week's video, we've put up LED lights all over because one of the things that I've learned in my uh, in my years of working on boats and cars and all sorts is that you can't do anything without light. Um, if you can't see, then you can't then you can't do anything. Uh, a friend of mine the other day has just got a new garage and they were asking me like, what are the most important things to have in a garage? And one day when I start setting this up, I'll make a video about that. But for now. I have to say, lighting is one of the biggest things that you can have in a, in a workshop, which is why I've put up LED lights everywhere so I can even work in winter when it's dark outside. That was one of the difficulties I had filming um, for the YouTube channel in winter, was or doing anything in fact, was the fact that because it goes darker earlier, I could only film when it was sunny. And we have our lovely little house martins up there, look, last week. Sorry, she's looking at me. Right. Do you mind? Um, last week she was sat there on four little eggs, and this week she's feeding four little chicks, and that's it's a lovely thing to see. Um, oh, sorry, cuteness. But um, it's it's very easy to get frustrated when when it's weather like this, when it's you know when there are showers and when there are storms. Well, we've had full blown thunderstorms. But it's really easy to get frustrated with the weather. But of course, getting frustrated at the sky achieves absolutely nothing. Um, but it does feel good to be getting these solar panels up finally. This is all of them. This is this is the rest of the 21. This, and uh, by next week, I will have edited next week's video purely on the sun's energy. I'll just be able to plug a plug in a plug socket and charge up my laptop. I won't have to run a generator or wait for my solar for my solar charger to charge up my little battery that I can charge my laptop up. It will just be just as you plug things in at home. And um, and also my allergies are getting better, so that's a good thing. But um, I, I can't wait. It's it's been a long time coming. It's everything that I do in this in this place. And a lot of people say to me all the time oh your house come it's coming on so fast and stuff there are times for me when it feels like it's coming on really fast there are times when it feels like it's going really slowly and crawling and but this is one of those jobs that i've been waiting to do forever or what feels like forever but uh it's one it's one step closer to moving into my house so i'm i'm absolutely I'm thrilled if you want to check out what i do in between videos if you want to check out my social media it's all down in the description below and if you have a project any any sort of project if you make furniture if you're building a house if you have a project car come and join the oliver picard facebook group which is down in the description and you can share photos and stuff of your project with me and the community who are absolutely lovely by the way if you want advice or anything everyone's always happy to like help when they can and share any advice that they can give um i'm really proud of everyone in that community I, like there's no toxicity it's one of the friendliest places on the internet as is my comment section down below so if you have any comments or questions please leave them down in the comment section i always read absolutely every single comment and some weeks if there is extra special ones i post them on twitter and and stuff like that because i believe in sharing the love so if you if you like if there is ever any lovely comments, I always repost those on Twitter and stuff and share those with the rest of the community. Um, because like my comment section is the best on the internet and it's something I'm very, very proud of. So thank you all for being part of this lovely community. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing and all that jazz. If you want to support this channel, I don't want your money. All I want you to do is the aforementioned liking, commenting and subscribing. It, it helps massively. Recommend these videos to your friends. And uh, please be awesome to each other. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.